Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It is almost 10 o'clock. And look at this cat. This cat is being so nice to me right now. He is cuddled up right beside me, giving me some love. I think he just wants some food. Um, but yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock and my dog is still wrapped up in the bedspread on my bed sleeping. Um, yeah, so I look like I went to a rave last night, although I didn't. I Ubered the kids to the prom, which was fine, whatever. And then um, XO sent me a message around 10-ish and they were like, hey, come get us. So I was going to Uber them back. And then they say, hey, we don't want to come back yet. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, great, fine. Stay longer. That's fine. And then they, they're like, okay, now it's time to go. And this is like 11 o'clock. And so then I checked the Uber for, you know, to bring them home. And it was at 40 bucks. I was going to Uber them home. And that was around 17, 20 bucks, which is, uh, you know, but 40 bucks. No, thank you. So I got, got in the car. I put Benson in the car because he likes to ride in the car. And we went and picked them up. And, uh, yeah, I went to bed kind of late, probably after midnight. But they had a really good time. And I took so many pictures. And they got a little prom picture that they took at the prom. Like, they printed it out and everything, which is really nice. And they um, went to Plaza Aztec, Azteca because that's where they wanted to go. And it was right beside the venue. Uh, but they had a good time. And I can't imagine what a wedding would be like because I or maybe it was just me because all the preparation that led up to prom maybe it was just me that I was like oh you need to do this we have to have this we have to do this and then leaving I was like you have to have this much money blah 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 and packing a little bag like I was like Ugh. so I can't imagine like like what we're getting ready for like a, we're not that we're getting ready for a wedding or eh, not at all but like what it would be like to get ready for a wedding for your child like that's got to be crazy you know, if I'm trying to, I don't know. Um, but it is 10 o'clock and I'm going to eat some breakfast. Look at him. And take my dog for a walk if he ever gets up. I mean, Benson, I take him out at like 5 o'clock in the morning, sometimes earlier, and he has not been up. And I, I did go in there just to kind of like poke him because I was like, is my dog okay? He's okay. I, I don't know. He's just sleeping. So I'm going to let him sleep. Um, but I've already started the laundry. I'm doing laundry. I think Exo is going to have a friend over later today from school, a new friend that I've never met. So I'm excited because we need more friends, especially the, with the summer coming up. We need more friends because I told Exo the one thing that is not going to happen that happened last summer is staying in the, in the apartment all the time. It's not going to happen. I've got plans of like activities and things to do like for my child. And I get it. Summertime is resting time from school and you want to hang out and you want to do nothing. I get that, but not every single day. We're getting outside. We're doing something. We're hanging out. We're going places. I don't like it. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to have a good day. I got to wake up. I got to brush my hair. I've got to do something. Well, actually, I'm not going to brush my hair. Because I can't. I mean, I can. But if I brushed my hair, it would let me, you know. So the only time I brush my hair is after I take a shower and I wash my hair. And then I get out of the shower and then I brush it. Then I start putting my shit in my hair. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. Nothing works. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm going to do my roots. I'm going to do my roots. That's what I'm going to do today. My roots and laundry. And go to the car wash. Mm, mm, mm. I love having a membership to the car wash. Makes me feel special. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. It is almost 11 o'clock and he's still... Oh wait, he's moving. You gonna get up? <laughs> Did are you okay? Huh? It's almost eleven o'clock. We went to bed. Well, we went to bed after midnight, but still, buddy.
You all right? It's time to get up. Oh, look at my BB in my bed. Oh, he's got his bed right there. It's 11 o'clock. I'm making breakfast for EXO, which is just my leftovers from last night. And doesn't that look like... <laughs> look at it. It looks like fancy the way I plated it. I didn't mean for it to look so nice. This is my leftovers. That's what EXO is eating. I think I'm going to make a cheese quesadilla. I think. I'm not sure. It's 1 o'clock. I'm going to go tanning. My knee is jacked up. My knee hurts so bad. I wear my compression sleeve when I'm at work. I don't know if it's because this whole week it's been raining almost every single day. Like, I don't know if that's the problem, but my knee, oh, it hurts so bad. Like it hasn't hurt this bad in a while, but I'm going to go my, do my tanning. And then I've got to run to Walmart. Of course, it wouldn't be a complete Sunday if we didn't go. I've got to go get some strawberries, um, some oat milk. A chai tea for my kid. This is basically for my my kid. Basically for my kid, but that's okay. I'm going to run to Walmart tanning, come home. I'm going to walk Benson, and then I'm done. I'm done, man. I've already done the laundry. I've already cleaned up. Um, I just want to sit down and rest. My, my knee is like really, God, it hurts so bad. Um, and right now, EXO has uh, one of their friends over from school that I met the other day when they had a recite the orchestra recital because exos in the orchestra so i met uh their friend and now they came over which is great i always want exo to have friends like any new friends let's go let's go i'm i was always been the mom to do the sleepovers and what you know what i mean like always i encourage that i want my i want my kid to have so many friends you know summer's coming they can do stuff together anyway i'm done i'm gonna go dan Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. I really want to wash my car today, but I don't think I want to make it today. My leg is really hurting. They're getting the lifeguard stuff ready for the summer season. I'm not excited. I don't like summer. We are walking over here to the beach, and this is nice. Look at it. It's a little pathway from the beach to the parking lot. It's uh, obviously new. It looks cool. Super cool. Anyway, I was just stalking my child to make sure they are safe, and we just figured we'd walk over, check the water out, and then go home. Meet the wildlife. I just wanted to check it out. I've checked it out. Now we're leaving. And this is cool. A little bit of a history. Willoughby Spit. This is Willoughby Spit. It's a, what is it, a peninsula? I used to live in Willoughby Spit years ago. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. How cool. All right, buddy, let's go. Come on. All right, babe, I'm leaving. Bye, babe. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I think the last clip that you saw was me and Benson. Um, I took him for a walk, and I knew that the kids were going to go over to the little park. So I just walked over just to check them out and see what was going on. Not to be a stalker, but then I ended up stalking them because then I saw a group of guys standing by the building if they were they probably weren't even looking at the kids but they looked like they were looking at the kids and like I don't know then my mind started going like you know like oh my god are they gonna kidnap these kids which 
is I know that I watch I, I listen to a lot of true crime and like that's always a um, you know true crime um but then I think it's making me crazy because I always tell like so to be careful and do this and that you know take the dog spray or this and that but then like I don't want to make my kid fear like everything and you know like fear life which sometimes I feel like I can I'm like be careful you know well and then yesterday I was just like and then I was like oh they'll be all right and so I was like well I'm just gonna head on back and then like I turned around I was gonna go back and then I looked back and I was like they're looking at my kids or the kids and I was like it just got in my brain so I stood <laughs> I stood off to the side and kind of walked Benson around and like we just hung out hung out until they were done and we all walked back together and like I don't know if that is like just overboard and I, I know I'm being I can be very paranoid because I've I, I can be a paranoid person anyway but now like all the true crime that I listen to is like but it's like but and I know that I cannot protect my child like forever you know and, and obviously exo is going to grow up and go to 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 a job and I, I don't know and i cannot but just like yesterday i was like i said to myself am i really out here watching these two teenagers afraid that this group these group of this group of men is going to take these kids and then i'm like well you know if they did and then i walked away and I don't know. <clears throat> Just it's like how I guess it's like at what point I, I don't even know. Do you say or like it, I guess I should have walked away and walked home, but then my brain was just spinning. Or is that good to just always be on the lookout? I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I was like, "Damn. <laughs> I have some problems." You know, I, anyway, anyway, um, I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.